Well, this the rare cask is, uh, I guess, a quintessential uh, example of the Macallan. 100% um, sherry oak cask again, which is a part of the DNA of the Edrington Group. It's uh, been selected from the top 1% of the casks available at the distillery by Bob Delgano, a whisky maker. Um, it's natural coloured, it's dark, again, nothing added to it. Um, and um, it's, it's got a sort of nice tannins to it, slight spiciness um, uh, from the wood, uh, and it's uh, got some chocolate notes. What makes it so much better, or almost three times better, than the Dark Origins? Because I believe the price of this is around $300 about Absolutely. It. Well, I mean, Bob's, you know, access some of the rarest casks we have available at the distillery. Uh, to give you an example, there'll only be about, there's the first batch of a thousand bottles in New York arrived a few weeks ago, they are sold out. So there's very much, by the nature of the name, Rare Cask uh, is a much rarer So did he selection. go, literally, I mean, he went and he tasted, or did he know already which cask to go and tap? No, all casks perform differently. It could be cut from the same tree, manufactured at the same time, and yet the casks mature in a different way. The, the whiskey and the casks mature in a different manner. Describe for people the process by which great whiskey is made. Well, it's a, very, it's a relatively simple process in theory. Um, it, you know, whiskey means uskeba, which is water of life. So it's produced essentially from three ingredients, you know, water, uh, barley and yeast. And so uh, in, in theory, it should be very simple to manufacture. Of course, that's where the art comes in. And, and, and You need the right kind of water. Right kind of water, right environment. You know, uh, cool environment is very helpful. Um, uh, you, the right wood, as I said, 70% right. of the flavour the, the right colour comes of barley. from the wood. The right type of barley. We source ours from farmers in Scotland. And so therefore, you know, it... It is essentially a simple process, um, the fermentation and then ultimately distillation. But then it's where the art form comes in. You know, we have Macallan, you know, the shortest stills on Speyside. Uh, they give a much richer uh, fla you know, flavour than you get from other stills. Uh, we take 16% of the cut, that's 16% of the production from the first batch. Uh, other distillers will take 23% to produce a lighter, uh, lighter style. We don't use peat, but, you know, but we rely on the casks we produce in Spain. You know, to give it that sort of that finish. So each distiller will do it differently, but that's where the art form comes in and, and tried and tested over you know hundreds of years in most cases. What's the most popular uh, distilled beverage in the Edrington portfolio right now? Oh my goodness! Uh, in terms of sales, you, in terms of public sales, that would be Famous Grouse today. Famous Grouse is the is the Scotch of Scotland. It's a blended Scotch whisky. It's the number one selling Scotch in the United Kingdom. Um, it's pretty big in Europe. Not so well known here in the, in the United States, but we're going to do something about that. Talk about the production. Uh, let's start with Dark Origins. How many cases or bottles do you plan to make? Well, it will be a small batch every year. Uh, this year, we're planning in the, in the whole of the United States. I think there'll be less than 20,000 bottles available. Rare cask, uh, I think by the, you know, we're doing it on a state-by-state -state basis. Um, I think we'll be looking at New York. With a, we'll have about 3,000 bottles available to it. And then we'll see how, how demand runs as to which other states we can roll it out to. Already, based on what we're seeing in terms of demand, is that we won't be able to roll that out everywhere because it just won't be enough. But I would, I would hope that we can get something close to a similar number of bottles uh, uh, by the, you know, across a 12-month period. Give us an idea of how much the Macallan sells right now because that's the flagship. Well, I mean, internationally, you know, we're just, we sell uh, around about 900,000 cases. These are 12 bottle cases, um, as people might know them. Uh, that makes us, uh, you know, relatively small by international standards. We, we sell everything we make. We are unable to meet demand at the moment, nor will we meet the demand for the next sort of four or five years. Hence why we're investing, uh, you know, $200 million in the McAllen estate, increasing, you know, facilities and planning for increased production over the next two to three decades. Where do you see that growth coming uh, from? Is it from Asia? From I mean, the United States is a big market for you. It is. I, I mean, the USA will be the, the, the main growth uh, driver for the Macallan. To give you an idea, 46% of all uh, premium spirits are sold in the United States and Canada, North America. And there'll be more growth in premium spirits in North America than there will be in the rest of the world put together. So, it's, even so this is the place you want to be? Still the place you want to be. I mean, China's going to be interesting. There'll be up, you know, bumps in the road. Russia's interesting. Africa's up and coming quite rapidly. Of course, Brazil, Mexico. But really, ultimately, North America, really, you know, the, the cocktail culture is here. People like to drink better. We're seeing growth here of 20%.